Hello girls, it's Sister Alma here. I hope you all enjoyed last week's videos and I pray that you're all doing okay. And you're keeping yourselves busy during this school break because we know it can be a little boring at home day after day, right? Not being able to hang out with your friends. I totally get you. Anyhow, this week we're going to be trying something totally different with girls ministries and we're going to be teaching our classes a little differently. So I hope you like it. Girls, I also want to remind you to seek God daily and call out to Him in prayer. More than ever before during this time, it is important that we continue to pray for the situation that the world is going through. The coronavirus, right? The virus as we know is affecting tens of thousands of people around the globe. And as Christians, it is important that we continue to pray. It is our duty that we continue to pray. So I encourage you girls to join me in prayer for these specific areas this week. Number one, pray we will be driven by faith and not by fear. The Bible says in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number two, pray for the people who have been greatly impacted. We know that believe that God, we know, excuse me, we know that God has the power to heal every sickness and every disease. Pray that God would cover our country and other nations that are also facing this crisis. Pray for our neighborhoods, our communities, and our churches and more importantly, our families. Also pray for the scientists and researchers to be led by the Holy Spirit as they seek to provide treatments and vaccines. Number three, pray for our missionary families. There are missionaries in our Christian family that travel throughout the whole world to tell others about God. So we pray for God's protection upon them that they would stay strong, healthy, safe, and to be where God has called them to be. Lastly, we pray for hope. We pray for the hope of Christ. We believe that Jesus is our savior, that he's our healer, and he's the Holy Spirit and the King of Kings. So we're praying for healing. May we not lose sight that our hope is not in a medical breakthrough, but that our hope is in Christ Jesus. Don't you guys agree? Can I hear an amen? So girls, dream this disaster. Remember that we have our hope in God and we know that he will see us through this. So if you know someone who's worried or scared, pray for them and let them know that God will see us through this. I love you girls and I miss you all. May God continue to bless you. Take care and hang in there.